Okay. Well, I'm trying to demonstrate uh, what Newman did, and uh, Newman was correct. This motor uh, runs on very little uh, amperes, and it's capable of running on batteries like this. These are four nine volt batteries, so and they are not. They don't give ampere; they give volts. And well, I'm going to hook them now to the motor, and you will see it will go directly in spin. I have to correct this uh, commutator here. And as you can see here on the uh, on the meter, it's using only uh, a little ampere, less than 100 milliamps. It's using. And what I'm doing is taking the AC from the coil and putting it in this uh, capacitor bank. And on this meter, you can see that the volt is climbing up. And these are real volts. This I will show you later. And to correct this, it all has to, do, has to do with time. The right timing to switch. And now I will show you that I'm really getting more out here than these batteries are capable of delivering. One moment. And you will see it climb up directly. 90, 100. And if it is higher than uh, 100 volt, I will show you. Okay. This battery is now going to 80 volts. And you will see this light will glow up nicely. Normally, this is not possible from these two batteries, from these four batteries. These are 9 volt batteries capable of only running a toy, like Newman said. It's true what he says, and it's a shame that everybody is not on top of this. This motor can really change the world. Even when I put a load on this motor, you will see on the meter that it's not using more. It's only using a little, 100 milliamps, no more.